What's up, Kirk? Hey, Timmy. How are you, buddy? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. Oh, I mean, as you know better than anybody, half-life is all about living on the good half of life. Being out there, being active, living a vibrant life, whatever that means to people. I love coming down here to Girks because you got the bikes, you got the skis, you got the boots. If I want to tour, if I want to be in the mountains, I can come in here and learn from you. We try. Today, we're going to talk about women's skis. Shop is bustling. It's ski season. I gotta tell you what though, the women of Half Life have spoken. The women they know. saw the review that we did, the 2020 All Mountain One Ski Quiver. Now, what about us? What about the women? Ladies, ski too. So I am hoping that you can spend a little time with us to tell us about the One Ski Quiver for the female skier. What is the difference between? A ski that is made for a female versus a male. So la ladies, they ski just as well as men. They want to have the same experience, but in general, they're a little shorter, they're a little lighter, and so they're going to need a ski. A little shorter, a lighter wood core, and then a little bit narrower, so it's proportionally the same experience as a big heavy guy has in a 100 waisted ski, a woman might be in a 90 waisted ski, and they're going to have the same experience with the flotation, the angulation, and so, um, that's basically what we're going to look at, is what the differences are, the latest models versus the men, to give the woman the same great experience. Let's start talking about the Armadas. Uh, they make a woman's family of skis just to go right along with their men's in the ARV family. They call it the ARW in the ladies. And we focus on the 86 waisted and the 96 waisted ski. So at 86, if you're going to stay primarily on the groomed runs, not be looking for the powder too much, this is a great, fun, playful, edge-to-edge -edge ski. And then if you find yourself being a little more adventurous, the 96, same construction, sidewall, same basic rocker profile, but one centimeter wider, a little more versatile if you want to get out in the fun stuff and still get out in the groomer. So somebody who's a competent skier, getting their skis on edge, they'd love this 96. I'd say for the progressing carvers, that 86 might be the better way to go. Now we're going to talk about the Atomic skis. So from Atomic, we carry uh, the Vantage 86 and the Vantage 97. So you can tell a common theme, different widths for different skiers. The 86 was typically their entry level ski, but this year it got a nice upgrade. The carbon stringers you can see through this window right here. You see a, a grid of carbon. That's a reinforcement layer that really gives the ski energy, dampness, and pop. So you get that all the way down at 399 in their 86 waisted ski. The 97 has the same carbon damping stringers you see in there, but again, 97 underfoot. Same story we talked about with Armada. Somebody's a little more adventurous, a little more capable getting their skis on edge. They're gonna like the versatility of the 97. But for that lady skier on the groomers, 86 is gonna be fine all day long. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the Solomon family. We carry three primary models in the QST, all mountain ski family from Solomon. The 85, the 92, and the 99. So, the 85 is a little bit of a more basic construction. You see the sidewall just underneath the foot with a cap construction, the tip and tail. It's a little more affordable to make the ski that way, and it still works great for recreational intermediate level skiers. When we step up to the 92, we obviously get the added versatility in the width, but now we have a full sidewall construction. That type of uh, construction method gives you a stronger ski edge to edge, more energy, more solid edge hold, so your performance level skiers are really going to appreciate that construction jump when you go to the 92. The 99, same construction as the 92, but we're wider and have a different rocker profile. So now if you look at the tail of this ski, the 99 right here, it's a little more flipped up tail. That's going to give you a little more driftiness in the powder and uh, a little more fun in the deep stuff. So three skis from Solomon. We'll always have something for every skier that walks in the door. Okay, now we're going to discuss the K2 family. K2 is a full new line of skis out this year called the Mindbenders. They make the men's and Mindbenders, ladies as well. The three skis we've chosen to carry from K2 
There's the Mindbender 85, the 90, and the 88. Now there isn't so much of a waste width story here because it's, we're only talking about five millimeters between all three models, but major construction differences as we go through each one. So we start at 399 with the Mindbender 85, just a simple construction, wood, fiberglass, friendly, easy to ski ski, but for somebody who wants to put a little more aggressiveness into their skiing, get a little more pop and edge hold, we go up to the Mindbender 90. On the outside, the ski looks very similar, but inside you have carbon stringers. In the top half of the ski, 45 degree angles, giving you a very strong edge hold. Down in the tail, they taper down to a long, longer longitudinal uh, cross pattern. That's going to give the ski a little more forgiveness at the tail of your turn, let go a little bit easier, but a lot more stability and energy than you get out of the 85. And then we go one more step to the Mindbender 88, my wife's personal ski. Now they add a whole sheet of metal in here, just like on the men's Mindbender 99. So this ski has metal from edge to edge underfoot, forks out over the edges in the tip, and center down the tail. So metal in the ski is what gives it the most stability at speed, most versatility for expert level skiers. So three different subtle waist width differences, but major construction differences in the three K2 mine benders. Okay, let's talk about Rosignol. So in the other families we've talked about, we have very similar skis and different waist widths. With Rosignol, we carry four pretty distinctive different skis. Let's start with the Experience 74. This is our basic entry level package ski. It comes with a binding for $399. And this is for somebody just getting started, no real high aspirations, but want a good, easy ski and ski, $399, just get out and do it. Very simple. For the more experienced, aggressive skiing lady who likes an edgy, carvy ski and a little wider platform, Experience 84. This is a real ski. If your name's Lindsey Vaughn and you just want an easy ski to ski on, you're going to like this one. Um, full sidewall construction, all the good stuff, vertical stabilizer built inside. A lot of funny details, but long story short, expert level, versatile, edgy fun. Now we jump into a totally different ski design of the Sky 7. We carry this in the men's as well, but a wider platform, obvious rocker profile that's conducive to powder, but also a short turning radius on the side cut that makes it very quick, sharp turning on hard snow, yet floaty and playful in deep snow. This is a very versatile ski that expert level skiers love if they're gonna own one ski. And then we go into the secret sauce of the Black Ops 98. This ski is the exact same ski as the men's. Same core, same everything, just a different graphic. And this, I don't know how much I can tell you how fun this ski is. It does everything really well. If you just have a, want a playful ski to just charge the deep stuff, the bumps, Surf it, smear it, carve it. The Black Ops 98 is just a ski that everybody will love if they're skiing it hard. There you go. So four distinctive different skis from Rosignol in the ladies category. Okay, a new family of skis we picked up this year is the Head Core. Last year we didn't carry the heads and it was the number one ski people were asking for. So we want to serve the audience, we want to make the people happy, so this year we carry the Head Cores. And the ladies, we went with the 93 and the 99. Same construction, just choose your width. We've been over this story before, but um, what makes the head core so popular is the fact that they could make it very light, yet still ski with the performance of a heavier ski. Don't ask me how they did it. It's all in the secret sauce inside, but this ski has a very light swing weight. It's snappy, easy to manage, but you do not pay a penalty at the high speed stability. Everybody loves this ski, and it's also a great choice if you're going with a touring package that you want to ski in bounds and go tour in the afternoon. This ski being light as it is, very awesome to set up with a touring binding. So, 93, 99, you pick based if you want to just err on the side of the deep snow, err on the groomers a little bit. Two great skis, can't make a bad decision. All right, let's talk about Volkel. Three great skis from Vocal for the ladies. Right here, we're gonna grab the Yumi. We're gonna grab the Kenja. And we're gonna grab the Secret. The Yumi at 84 underfoot has a light strip of metal for stability, but keeping the ski light and nimble 
for that progressing intermediate, want to be an expert level skier, make it easy to get there, the Yumi is a great choice. The next two skis, the Kenja 88 and the Secret 92, same construction. This is the new construction Vocal is so excited about. One full sheet of metal on the bottom, and the top is three different pieces. One underfoot from edge to edge, then perimeter metal around the tip and tail. Really, this construction makes the skis feel so smooth, so easy to ski. You just point them where you want to go. They just take you there without a bounce. So if you want to be at 88 or a little wider with the 92 Secret, very similar skis. Again, same story. You choose your width. We give you the performance. So there's Vocal right there, Yumi, Kenja, Secret. Time to talk about Blizzard. Blizzard, we've brought in two very popular ladies models. So first of all, the Black Pearl. Blizzard Black Pearl 88 is made in various waist widths, but 88 is by far the number one money maker. We focus on this. Um, this is the number one selling ski in the entire country. Every model across the board, Blizzard Black Pearl 88, by far the number one selling ski. And there's a reason. Everybody that skis it loves it. It just gives you all the versatility you're looking for. That sweet spot in the waist width at 88, great on the groomers, great to be out in the deep stuff when you want to get playful. It has a rocker profile that's very well suited to the hard snow. You get good contact down to the tail, but it does separate up rockers back right here. So it really makes that turn release easy at the end. And just for whatever reason, everybody that skis it just loves it and they buy it. That's why it's the number one selling ski in the world, Blizzard Back Pearl. This ski, a little bit wider, the rocker profile, definitely more rocker in the tip and the tail. So for that skier who's definitely looking for the deep stuff and wants it to handle the groomers, this is the way you're going to go. Has metal in the ski, underfoot, tapers in narrow in the shovel, narrow in the tail, but it gives you just enough stability and that width and profile really makes it a lot of fun in the deep stuff. So, your adventurous lady is going to love the Shiva 9. There you go. That's Blizzard. Let's talk about Nordica. Nordica really hit the industry hard a few years ago when they came out with the Enforcer family for men. That family expanded from 100 to 93 to 110 to 88 um, to now 104. So now for the ladies, Santa Ana. Exact same ski, but for the ladies. So it works very, very well all the way across the mountain. We've chosen to bring this in in an 88 as well as a 93 version. So again, subtle difference, but some people just really want to err on the narrow side. Some people want a little more versatility. But now this ski, full sidewall construction, sheet of metal, subtle tail rocker that really engages when you get to ski on edge, but is light and easy to manage when you're in transition. Something about this ski just makes it work everywhere, and uh, aggressive skiers, somebody who wants the performance, cannot go wrong with either one of these Santa Anas, 88 or 93. Thank you, and come on down to Gertz. We are dedicated to making sure you have a great time on the mountain. A handshake okay. there, so I'll mess that up. Hell, I mean, the size of that tripod alone is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go inside and see what you got in store for the women of the Half Life this year. Let's go make it happen. What do you think? All right. Uh, anything else you want us to walk away? <laughs>